funny the funny thing i know about dmt is uh i know last time i spoke with them they just said that uh they only show up when they have something to show the world. <laughs> <laughs> when do they have to show the world? I don't know, but I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> like Even if that's not true and I heard it from someone else, that's that's canon to me forever. That's, so that's he's here because he's got something to show us. <laughs> okay, so who's us? The people everyone, on the people, every single person, <laughs> the <on> people, <laughs> every single person. Okay, well, you need. I think that people should be guessing what they think that is, or do you think we're just gonna know it when we see it? Well. No, I have no idea. <laughs> no, no, I literally I genuinely have no idea. Um, all I know is that Sethy Buds is uh, on the receiving end of the new technology <laughs> that's about to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the guinea pig, the victim. <laughs> oh, look at Sethy with some pivots. Okay. All right. No, this uh, this should be fun. Uh, nice. I know D&T is really good. Um, I haven't seen them in a while, though, so I don't know how practiced they are. Uh, I do know how good Sethy Buns is. Do uh, or you have Seth. any interesting facts about DMT to show, to, <laughs> to share before we get into the most life-changing, world-crushing? The only thing I know is that he's here to show us a thing. Okay, <laughs> I don't know okay. what it is. Awesome. Um, he plays on Box. Um, yeah. But, I mean, he's very different than other Box Foxes. Uh, most of them are... They seem a little more Dash Dance Nair heavy. Uh... <laughs> Don't do it right after I say it, DMT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, what's that then? What's all right, that? never mind. He's actually the exact same as all the rest of them. They're actually all just one hive mind. Uh, ooh, okay. Went for the forest smash, was backed up just a little too much. Didn't get the tipper, but that's fine. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this might be... Ooh, this is a oh. really interesting oh. decision. Oh, that was, that was interesting. Oh, okay. Gets under the jab with uh, side B. That's pretty good. Yeah, and is Goes trying to recover. And Ooh, nice down smash. Yeah, actually, cover both. Shielding. Shielding. No, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine. It was all planned. It was totally worth it. Uh, no, yeah, you can definitely tell they're just kind of feeling each other out right now. Yeah. No, no uh, like, super, super. Are we... You said oh, earlier DMT is part of the hive mind. <laughs> I, 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 I will say it doesn't seem like you're extremely... Right, it's not like exact. It, this looks like a normal, like a fox thing to do. Yeah, right? it does. I think he's just a box player. I think he's just a regular, like, fox player with a box. I think that's just what he Fox is. box. Yeah. So, wait, um. Are box players different for fo like? Can you tell when there's a fox box and then just a fox fox? If I am playing on it, I can't. I have no idea. Okay. Okay. Um, other people can't. I have no idea what they're looking at. Ooh. Okay, that was really unfortunate. I feel like it's one of those things though where you can watch someone and you're like, yeah, yeah, I can tell they're playing a box. You're literally looking at them playing a box. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like I, I can totally it. tell. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, judging by the box in your lap. <laughs> it's like, you must be a box player. Which Ooh, is like okay. fun to get delusional about that though. Be like, oh, I can, I can tell the difference. <laughs> I can tell the difference. I, I really hope one day someone shows up to a tournament with a box and uh, instead of playing on the box, it just like opens up and there's a GameCube controller <laughs> in it. And then they grab the GameCube controller and start playing. It. Okay, Ooh, best, and five. It's best five. Okay, so no ban. So we are going to go to FD. Okay. Um, which obviously that makes a little more sense. Marth wants his chain grabs and stuff. Okay. The second hit, Phantomed. That is really lucky for Seth there. Yeah. Honestly, okay. And now I, I don't know if this is just me, but I think it was kind of bold for both of them, but also by process of elimination, or not process, ah. Like, okay, they both are characters that do well platforms. Mm -hmm. So having a platformless stage, it's kind of like, ooh, they're kind of depriving themselves, but because they're both on that same level, I feel like it kind of cancels out. Yeah, the only the only main notable difference is that Mars really liked this stage yeah. against Spacey's, just because like once they get a grab, they can pretty much just take the entire stock from zero yeah. if they don't miss up their their execution. Because there's there's there is counterplay to it, mm -hmm. um, but it's more like prolonged counterplay more than I get out of this combo. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, the stage definitely, it definitely makes sense. Um, cause yeah, Sethiman, if you can notice, like they're probably going to be dash dancing a lot, looking right, for a lot of grabs right. and stuff. Uh, DMT very wisely when they do their pressure and everything, they're kind of trying to stay right outside of like down tilt range. Um, they keep getting into Rocky, which is really funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a bold, that was a bold move with Marth. Yeah. I will say, so Sethiman's, um, edge guards so far have not yeah. exactly looked the cleanest. Uh, they, 
They I, keep second guessing themselves. I feel the like thing. okay. I feel like they don't look the cleanest, but for the most part, they've. Well, I don't know. I he came off of that one really well. Yeah, that's fair. That's like fair. really, <laughs> just in that one minute, managed to get from halfway down the stage to up on the stage again. But I would say they have been kind of like that one. Like, yeah. what just happened there was a pretty big... I feel it could have been a lot bolder. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know. Um, but, oh, yeah. Oh, Sethi Buns keeps... Uh, like, every now and then DMT is going to recover low. And uh, Seth is, like... He's trying to go down there and contest it. But he's not getting invincibility from the ledge first. And it, what it's doing is it's actually getting him burned by the upbeat. Yeah. Um, dang, that really is unfortunate. Seth quits out. He knows that he's not grabbing ledge there. <laughs> Um, I still think I still think FD. Yeah. Yep. Still FD. Still FD. Um, you got to stick with your guns in this, right? Because this is just yeah. this is your strongest by far. Yeah. Okay. Really good DI. On so Sethi Buns is yeah like <laughs> down two. So what would you recommend him do in this situation? Because honestly, I think he could mm -hmm. kind of muster up some. Yeah. No. He definitely he definitely can make this come back. So the main thing I'm seeing that DMT is blowing him up for a lot is Seth is a is a jumper. Uh, yeah. Sethy Buns instead of holding his ground and just like dashing on the floor and waiting uh -huh. to get his grab, he keeps like trying to hold his space with forward air instead. Uh -huh. And what's happening is DMT is seeing him jump, and then he just like goes to him instead of uh, having to worry about like down tilt or anything. He's seeing uh -huh. the jump and he's reacting to it. Yeah. But if yeah, Sethy Buns can stay a little more grounded. Uh, that's definitely going to change a lot of stuff. It's yeah. going to make DMT have to adjust to that instead. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. So he did get DMT mm -hmm. down one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he did good on that first talk. He did. He did that, but he, he. But that wasn't really what you were talking about. You were talking about more of a. Like you, what you were saying, you recommend him do. That's not how he got the first stock down. Uh, actually, uh, what he ended up doing is it started because he got the grab. Okay. On okay. It. And it's mainly so the finish can be can be different. It's usually just how you started out, and then based on right, that, it's just like you kind of right. have to play around like how they di and all that stuff. But he is doing. But really he is doing much better. Yeah, he is doing much better. Um, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wait, wait a second. Wait, don't come back. Come back. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That was a good. That was a good recovery. That was great. That was yeah. fantastic. He, he faded back just just enough to where uh, DMT couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. See, right there, that's what I'm talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. Is, yeah. Is DMT will recover low, and in normally in situations like that, if you're the Marth, if you can grab ledge and get invincibility, yeah. you can actually drop down while you're still invincible and not have to worry about uh -huh. the fire hitting you. I would say Marth does pretty decent. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, ledge grabs. I don't know if it's just... I don't know if it's just... My experience, because I used to play Marth, um, mm -hmm. I think when you have been like kind of catapulted into the ether, that's when yeah, it's yeah. hardest to come back. Oh yeah, absolutely. But Marth, Marth does do a pretty like it's you can. Marth has pretty good mix-ups to come back. Yes. Yeah, you kind definitely of, can. Kind of decent in most areas, I would say. Marth, by no stretch of the imagination, is is a bad character at anything. Yeah. I think. I think they have a very, very strong toolkit mm -hmm. that's well-rounded. Um, you know who's even better, though. Oh, Mr. Fox. Oh, no, I was, I was going to say Roy. <laughs> oh, Roy? Really <laughs> oh, Roy is. <laughs> Roy is where you should be if let's, you want to win. Let's be real. Roy's the sleeper pick that no one's doing except Zane right now. Oh, I am. Oh, you are? Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. You've, no. you've solved Melee. <laughs> I've solved Melee. I've literally, no, and I, I don't know why no one's heard of me. It's not because... I, I play all the time. You need to travel. You travel, start mm -hmm. playing Royal on people, and then they'll well, be I, like, I've whoa. Been, yeah, <laughs> when I was in Spain, that's what I was doing. I was doing a lot of. I was in Spain, but that's not what I was doing. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> I was like in Madrid, like trying to find <laughs> melee. You're like, where is the melee, please? Get please. Ed. I brought my GameCube controller overseas. <laughs> that I definitely have. Didn't have to borrow one today. There you go, there you go. All right. Uh, Sethiman's got his counter pick. Uh, he won on his counter pick. He got it. Now yes. he's got to deal with two of DMTs. Okay? So do you think he's going to bring it back? I think it's very possible. I will say uh, DMT has maybe looked a little stronger in neutral in average yeah. or on average. Uh, but it's nothing that I don't think Seth can um, 
can make up. Yeah. I don't think it's I don't think it's too far by any any stretch of the imagination. I definitely think he's gonna like if he just kind of keeps up that energy that he really brought. I mean, it's definitely possible. Oh. oh. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and there that is. <laughs> ah! I really, I, I really want to see Sethi Buns take this. I really would love to see that. I would like to see game five at least. Yes, I would at like to least. see game five. Um, as far as who wins, I mean, honestly, I've gotten to the point now where it's just like, I just want to see good play. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, and we are seeing And some, they are doing very good like, now. Like, Sethi Buns yeah. is really doing some polished, Ooh. not messy by any stretch. Ooh, almost. Oh my gosh, okay. Honestly, great angle by DMP. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, come on, just jab. Oh, okay. They didn't drop down to get ah. the to get the up B, so they didn't get hit by the flame this time. That's okay, good. Okay, okay, and then. <gasps> nice, nice. Clean. Let's go. Clean. That was like that was beautiful. It was. It was very beautiful. Makes me cry. Oh, nice spot dodge too. Actually, gets DMT in the corner because of it too. Okay, doing some. Runs up to him, grabs. And okay, I was I was honestly looking at him getting launched up, and I was like, oh. Is he going to be able to? Ooh, okay, that's I was, what I that thought was, was going to happen earlier. I was like, I think that was the best DI they could have done. I think they yeah, were just dead regardless. I so. but that no, was very I think good. so as well. Okay, now it's two on two. A closer than it was. Great up tilt. I really feel like it could go either way. Um, yeah, this is definitely. I actually want to say. Lots of shield. Like, I was seeing DMT do a lot of. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> um. <laughs> He's doing a lot of the shield game, yeah, for sure. I'll, I will say, Seth has done a great job at calling out the initial part of DMT's recovery. He's just not following up the next part is the main issue. He'll, he'll get the first call out and it's working really well, but then the come second on, part, he's, he's just barely not getting it. Okay, come on, do great it, do it good. Great Omsa tech into slide off <laughs> by DMT to live there. Slide me again. Oh! Nice. Okay. That only works too because of Yoshi's uh, little lip ledge to make <laughs> the sword go down a little further. Oh, I never noticed that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's super nice for Marth because now uh, Fox and Falco, I, I don't know for sure if it's they can't sweet spot or if it's just much harder, but okay. um, the down tilt just kind of pokes. Oh. But Dang. little, little, little.